guess what? Yet another tent. And this one came all the way from Austria, so about a week's delivery time. So I've gone back to black as they say. It's yet another black diamond. This time however it's the highlight tent and it's the two person. It comes with a separate pole bag, um, separate from the tent, but uh, all in all weight with the hang tags and god knows what else is in there. Just over 1.8 kilos, which is bearable. Just like the previous black diamond, this one comes in the blue waterproof fabric. I say previous one, what I mean is the little ultra light one that I had before. Not the, oh what is it called, the first light. Which was in the breathable kind of green wasabi coloured fabric. This is the new taped and sealed one. So it won't breathe but it will be waterproof. So inside the pack we've got two main poles, a brow pole. The pegs, uh, all of this is DAC I think, and some Dynema guy lines, four guy lines, and I think there's a repair tube in there as well. Yeah, I can see it on the brow pole. Comes with eight DAC V-shape pegs, and a single fold out instruction sheet. Yeah, it's slightly awkward to get in, but... I think we're getting there. Right, second pole. Right, bingo, we're in. It's quite awkward to put up. I'll get better with practice, but it's just a wee bit of a faff. So that's us fully pitched. We're up and running. I think once I get used to it, it'll be fine. The Velcro tabs internally are always a wee bit awkward. Let me just show you around. You can see the large manifold vent, as they call it at the top, which is designed to take some of the moisture away from the tent, running through a tunnel right across the top. Just the usual nice wee Dyneema runners and uh, line locks. On one side there's not a full door on the two person one, it's just a partial vent, so you can unzip sort of a third of the door for some additional venting. And it is narrow at one end and then wider at the head end. So once I get the mats in, we'll just see how tight that actually is, whether it's genuinely usable by two people, or it's really just a one person. Both sides you've got this overhanging kind of awning, which will probably just help you cook and get in and out without getting too wet. Uh, the pole, the brow pole just runs right through inside the tent and back out again on the other side. quite spacious before you close it up, but that might be a wee bit deceptive. <laughs> and then you can vent it from this side as well with a no seam mesh. Uh, this doesn't unzip completely, so your mesh will always be there on the two person. But you can certainly feel the through, through flow of air now. It's got two wee pockets, one at the head and one at the foot. And the poles fit into what are virtually like press studs, like the female end of a press stud at either pole end. They just fit straight into the top of that. One of the other things I liked about this is you can add an awning to the whole tent, which I was thinking if we're going to use it two up, the awning would make a big difference and then we can cook under cover and store rucksacks. And it just uh, attaches in using these loops and hooks on the actual vestibule all the way around. There you go, that's it with a Neo Air X Therm in place. Pushed up to the end at the head and maybe a couple of inches left at the foot. That's a six foot mat from memory. And there should be enough room to get another one in there, but it is going to be fairly cosy. So I've just jumped in and done up the no see and mesh door on the main side, which I think is one of the most attractive things about it. I think it'd be quite nice to sit on a nice morning with that whole door open or at least sealed in the summer to stop the midges getting in. As luck would have it, I've just jumped in as it started raining. You can see the two vents above that are meant to take the hot and damp air out of the tent, but I suspect being single skin I think you're going to end up in situations where you need a pack towel. It certainly looks like you can vent it quite far. 
without water getting directly into the tent because of this overhanging awning. It's definitely on the short side though, I'd say. Even though the walls slope up steeply, my head and feet are nearly touching the material at either end. So, and I'm five foot eight. So it's not unlike their other bivouac tents, and most of the bivouac tents are very short. So what I'll do is I'll leave it up overnight just to make sure the whole thing is waterproof. That's what I do with every tent. And uh, I'll check in in the morning and see how it looks then. So with two mats in it, yeah they do fit with a few inches to spare. I've just noticed the X-Therm is actually longer than the uh, x light. I'll just show you what I mean. So you can see the difference actually, one mat is actually slightly longer. So yeah, there is sufficient room probably for up to about six foot. Do you know what? I think two of us could sleep in this. And with a vestibule on it, it would make a big difference to store everything outside. So it might be the holy grail of tents. One tent that does one person, two person, and just add on the vestibule when you need it or leave it behind when you're travelling lighter like I would do in the winter. Just one wee observation I've noticed actually. I see this overhanging porch, if you like, above the door. If they put a lip, sewn a lip onto the sewn here, uh, so it would create a rain channel, then the rain could run off without dripping straight onto the door. So it doesn't really work as well as it could do. Just by Having had the tent up over the last couple of days, the thing I have noticed is that the uh, fabric's a very kind of rubberized feel to it and doesn't stretch. So there's no additional sag in the rain that we've had in the snow in the last couple of days. So there you go everybody, this is the uh, Black Diamond Highlight 2P. I really like the design of it, it's a bit short so 6 foot or under I would recommend. Anyone above that I think is going to struggle, you're going to get slightly wet at the head and foot. Um, but it's big and wide enough certainly for two people, it'll be fine for me on my own and I'll use the vestibule during the summer so my wife and I can use it together. Um, so it might be a good all rounder. So looking forward to getting out this weekend and uh, I'll do an update then. Any questions just drop me a line below and thanks again for watching.